hey what's up you guys it's tyler and today i have a life update see the thing is i kind of bought a car today like i kind of i kind of bought a car today and i thought i would tell you about it <laughs> so if you're not new here which i'm assuming you're not new here i've been looking for a car for a long time like a long time a very long time um and I recently found out about Carvana and I found this car listen this is like a week ago this little red Toyota Prius really cute I really liked it um but it it sold it sold see the thing is it had purchase pending on it which I thought it meant somebody was holding the car for like 30 minutes like they were probably buying it so I had my hopes up I was like oh this will go away like they'll notify me eventually because if somebody bought the car they wouldn't have it listed on the freaking site right like that's what I was telling myself yeah no it it, it sold now why would you keep a car up after they sell the car I don't know my car is still up I bought my car my car is still up on the site to be fair, I bought it today, but I've had it on hold for three days, so, like, that's enough time, right? I don't know. I feel like it should not be on the site. That's my number one complaint about Carvana. All of the cars, they go like that. Like, I saw a car. It was on pre-order, which is how I got my car. I pre-ordered my car. There were no pictures. There was, like, barely any information. It was new. I was like, snap it up because it was red and I wanted a red car so I was like snap it up um why am I saying where did that come from I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that I don't know but basically when you pre-order a car on Carvana there's no pictures there's like no inspection for a couple days I bought this car I put a deposit on it it's only a hundred dollars and it's totally refundable so even if you don't get the car or you like change your mind in five minutes like you can get your money back just so you know so like basically pre-order every single car that you want so then nobody else can get it is what I'm telling you to do you think I'm joking like no do that because your car if it's listen I don't know what other cars are doing but Toyota Priuses snap they're gone at least like in my budget like the $20,000 ones, they're up there and they're fine. But that's not my budget, girl. It's not. So, the cheaper ones with, like, lower miles and no issues, they got snatched. So, I snatched mine. And, um, yeah. Basically, I pre-ordered mine, $100. And then I was Googling, like, when the heck am I even going to be able to, like, see it? And I Googled it and it was, like, oh, 18 days. It was like two or three days, so not that dramatic. It's not an 18 day thing. I mean, it might be, I don't know. Mine was just two days, but, and then they had the pictures up. I think last night they had the pictures up, bought it today. I went to the bank, got all my money situated and um, I did my thing. Basically when you pre-order a car, you pay the $100 deposit and then you have it until the pictures go up. When they have the pictures, then you have 48 hours. You have two days to make your move on the car. So, I mean, really, I mean, it's a refundable $100 thing. So, like, basically just do it. I feel like it's really stupid that you can just hold a car for $100 and then get all of your money back. Even if you don't want it. But... I don't, I don't know what they get out of that because I feel like it's not the best business decision, but like, okay. Anyways, I bought the car today. I went Ikea shopping, like just casually shopping at Ikea and then I went home and I bought a car because that's what you do. And I bought weed. Medical weed. Just by the way, I have a legal, legal weed, but like day in my life day in my life yeah and now I have to go to work like right now but like we're fine I'm I'm trying to talk 
I'm busy. Work can come later. Like, it's fine. Um, what was I even saying? Okay, so I bought this car. I did everything. You have to, like, fill out this information. You have to pick a delivery time. Which is annoying. Like, listen, I pre-ordered this car, like, three days ago. And I'm not even going to get the car for a week. Like, why does it take that long? I don't know. Because it's, it's not like they're doing anything new with the car. Like, they already fixed the car. They fixed the issues. So, like, why does it take a week? I don't know. But apparently it does. That's annoying. Like, if I pay for my car, why can't I have it, like, in at least three, four days? Why do I have to wait a week? I don't know. But there's going to be another video. If all goes well with my car. Because... That's what I am doing with my life, making videos about major life events and then laughing about it, apparently. Um, yeah, so I bought the car. My issue, well my issue, I thought we were going to have like a serious problem with this. Basically, I like set the bank thing up and my number one reason for buying a car from Carvana is I don't want to have to deal with people. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to call people. I don't want to go to a dealership. That was supposed to be counting, but I just did that. So pretend I was counting. Um, I don't want to test drive a car with somebody with like a stranger in it because I'm not comfortable. Like sitting in close quarters with random strangers. Sorry, but like I'm just not okay with that. Um, also, random freaking fees that you don't even know about. Like it's so expensive. Now listen, if you go to a dealer, you can probably find a better price. I'm telling you, you can probably do that. But do they give you a 7 day return policy? No they don't. So I'm just saying, Carvana? But like yeah, that's why I chose it. And then I linked my bank account, I did it with the thing, I think it's called, what is it called? I don't know. They need to like verify that you're the person. So I was doing that and it was like we can't verify your information so then I kept doing it and then I moved to the computer and it was like you don't have the funds available on this account and I'm like I don't have the funds available you're telling me I don't have the funds I can check my bank account right now like I'm telling you I have the funds because I'm not financing I'm not doing that crap I'm buying it I'm buying my car I don't want to deal with its use um <laughs> But it's like, I have the money, and Carvana was just like, no you don't. Okay? And then it was like, okay, if you don't verify with this thing, then you will be on a three-way conference call with Carvana, you, and a bank person. I'm like, I don't want to call you. I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry, I just want my car like that's all I wanted that's all I want like I just want my car I don't want to talk to you so at that point I was like you know what apparently I'm not meant to get this car so I'm just not gonna deal with it like if they want me to call them I don't care I just won't do it like it's just not my car then like whatever um or you can do like a cashier's check which I don't know how that works I don't even know what that is sorry I just don't understand like bank things and like adult things I went to the banks today and I was very confused like I don't know I don't know what you do like I just stand there and my parent does everything because I'm like what does that even mean I don't know I don't know I can't adult by myself this is why I need somebody why are you parking you're parking in five fucking places I hate people um but yeah, I thought that was going to be an issue because it didn't verify my funds. But basically, what I did, um, I set a card limit for $500 because if somebody is going to, like, steal my bank information, you know, they can't do that much damage. Like, only $500, apparently. Um, and that's only for my card. Like, it's not for my bank account. So, apparently that is what messed up the process because I turned it off and then I re-verified and it was like oh you got the car and I'm like I didn't even give you my card like why are you using my card 
Like, I didn't even give them my card. I gave them my bank routing thingy. I don't know. But anyways, that was the issue. And I fixed it. And I got the car. But it was like, okay, that's annoying. And apparently, you have to call them or they call you when they're when they're like on the way and they've called me like seven fucking times how many times have i answered them zero i'm not i'm not answering you i don't care like listen if you can't give me the car without calling me then i don't want the car like i'm sorry it, i'm that stubborn like i'm just that stubborn like i don't care you think i'm gonna talk to you on the phone no <laughs> i am who i am like you're eventually gonna come here you have my bank information take my money and then they're gonna drive all the way here and they're gonna see i'm a real person like why do you have to talk to me they've called me so many times like hi i saw you bought a car from carvana we just need you to verify your bank information do it with that verification thing and i'm like my dude i tried it and it's saying i don't have money so like f you Obviously, I didn't say that because I didn't even answer the phone, but they called me so many times. And, oh my god, this was another freaking issue. You have to get insurance for the car right when you buy it. If you, like, want your scheduled time. So, if I don't purchase insurance for the car that I don't even have by tonight. Tonight. Then I'm not going to get the car next week. So, basically... F Carvana and I don't really like them but like maybe it's gonna be okay I don't know maybe I'll like them more but that's my experience I have to work and then go home at like 10 30 and then buy insurance for the for a card that I don't even have to buy the car it doesn't make sense it doesn't I'm sorry it doesn't make sense anyways I'm, I'm <laughs> I have to go to work because if I don't go to work, I'm gonna be broke because I just spent my money on a freaking car that I don't even have. <laughs> like, okay. Anyways, there's obviously going to be a part two. Hopefully, the next video that you see, unless there's like some random story time that I post before or that I record before next week, then it's gonna go up. Car phone! They're freaking calling me right now. Why? Oh my god, am I. I'm gonna scream. Decline. Stop calling me. What is wrong with you? Like, seriously, stop calling me. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all next week either with a story time or a car update or like something. Something. Maybe I'm like not gonna film anything at all. Maybe I like died or something. I don't know. Like, you never know what happens. But I'll see y'all probably. Right? Yeah, okay, bye. <laughs>